Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus. We're going to read verses, chapter 16, verses 31 to 36 today. The house of Israel named it manna, and it was like coriander seed, wide, and its taste was like wafers with honey. Then Moses said, This is what the Lord has commanded. Let an omer full of it be kept throughout your generations, that they may see the bread that I fed you in the wilderness when I brought you out of the land of Egypt. Moses said to Aaron, Take a jar and put an omer full of manna in it, and place it before the Lord to be kept throughout your generations. As the Lord commanded Moses, so Aaron placed it before the testimony to be kept. The sons of Israel ate the manna forty years until they came to an inhabited land. They ate the manna until they came to the border of the land of Canaan. Now an omer is a tenth of an ephah. Okay, I want you to notice here, again, today a lot of people don't see any particular importance in the Sabbath. Um, and yet here we see how important is it? Besides, we've just spent basically the whole chapter on it. This is so important. Notice this. Did you miss it? Moses instructed him, take some of this manna, put it in a jar. Remember, we mentioned there were three miracles that were done uh, all for every week. There was a Sabbath miracle, right? So remember the ways, the three ways that God de dealt with this every week, right? Six days he provided manna, free food from him, bread from heaven. The sixth day of the, of the week, he gave double the amount. And on the seventh day, when he gave none, he preserved that which was left from the sixth day. So he worked miracles all the way through there, even on the seventh day. So I want you to notice this is so important to God that he says, take some of it, put it in a, put it in a container, and we're going to store it in there like in the Ark of the Covenant. It's to be stored there inside the Ark. There's only thing you find in the Ark is what? God's Ten Commandment law. We still haven't come to that. That's over in Exodus 20. We're almost there. Very, very important. Only the most holy things go into the ark, God's law. But he says also, we're going to put in a pot of this manna as a reminder through all the generations preserving it here. So there's a miracle that God's going to do preserving that. But I want you to see how important the Sabbath is, that God has taken all these measures, that he's giving them a Sabbath training, and it's going to go on for about 40 years. Because he's changing them from slave think to faith think, all right? And so a lot of times we only come part way out of Egypt, but God wants us to come all the way. So he wants us to, to get rid of that slave think. Slave think says, I'm going to work it out my way. I'll worship God on my terms. God says, no, you worship me on my terms, and, and you'll find out it's just, just lots better. <laughs> so now, by the way, verse 35 and 36, probably written a little bit later, still inspired, but, but most of this is happening within a period of, weeks after they've left Egypt, uh, but here we find a portion that was perhaps written at the very end uh, because they, when they go into the promised land, it's, you know, by then it's been 40 years. Even if there are a few bits here and there that aren't all exactly chronologically done in sequence, that they're inspired, the Holy Spirit led it to be that way, and so we have that insight. And so here we have kind of a summary note here at the end of this segment, and um, we're going to go into chapter 17, but I hope you see that um, this is a big deal. 40 years of Sabbath training. When's the last time you did something you were training for 40 years? This is important. This is a big deal. It's a big blessing. And so God bless you as you serve him. And as you weigh, does God want me to keep his seventh day Sabbath? Is there a blessing that I need that I'm missing that's part of Christianity, that's a part of a Bible faith? Think about it. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning.